Good morning viewers, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make a simple cake that can be made at home anytime for the tea without a mixer and without an oven for starters. Karibuni sana. So let's get baking. For this simple cake, you need a bowl to mix. You will need a whisk. You will need sugar, one cup. You will need margarine, one cup. You will need baking powder, one teaspoon if you're not using the self raising flour. And you will need your flour, one and three quarter cups. You will need three eggs and a pinch of salt. You will need to put your margarine in your mixing bowl with a spatula. Or you can use a spoon at home. And you need to pour your sugar. And pick your whisk. That is where you start mixing gently until the margarine and the sugar incorporates very well. It should become white and fluffy. Then you put some bit of energy. This will help your cake to be moist and fluffy. Right. This is now ready. We need to add in the eggs and our flavor. Remember, we are doing one egg at a time. We break our egg one at a time. At this point, we add our teaspoon of flavor of choice. But for our cake today, I'm using vanilla. Essence of your choice. You need to mix for the egg to incorporate well with your mixture. Make sure all the eggs incorporate very well. Add our second egg. The same process. Our mixture this time is increasing in volume. Our, but our margarine and sugar was mixed very well. This is done. We need to add in our last egg. Make sure you do not put any of the shells, otherwise, your cake will have a lot of shells in it. Full of vanilla, and you can use any flavor of your choice. I need to add the baking powder to our flour, but this is only for someone not using the self raising flour because the self raising flour has balanced baking powder in it. But for today, I prefer using my baking powder and my normal home baking flour. You need to sift your flour to remove any particles that could be unwanted in your cake. This will also help. So the next thing we need to do, we need to take our mixture and have a spatula a spatula comes in handy because it cleans up very fast on the edge. 
and now we need to pour in some little bit of flour at a time and mix now this is why you fold in you fold in your flour slowly and gently adding bits of flour at a time It's all coming together very well. You can see the air bubbles. These air bubbles, we don't need to break them. That's why it's important just to fold in gently. You fold in by going round and cutting across at the center of your mixing bowl. You can see the air bubbles. This will help your cake to become so moist and rise very well. Our mixture is ready now. You don't need to overdo it. Once everything is incorporated very well inside, then we're ready to bake. Now get ready to put it in our Mawetatu Sufuria. Or if you've got an oven, we are ready to bake. But before we bake, we need to grease the tin so that the cake will not burn and not come out. You need your brush and you need to grease round, not putting a lot of the mixture, not a lot of margarine. And it's ready. For this uh, kind of baking, where you don't have an oven with you, you can use a big sufuria and place in three small stones. It should be wider than your baking tin, of which you can also use a sufuria as your baking tin. <laughs> and you place it. And that sufuria needs to have a tight cover. Alternatively, if you do not have stones nearby, you can arrange your forks. And place your mixture. This, you still need a tight cover for your big sufuria. You need to place it on the heat and put it on medium. And give it at least 40 minutes to bake. By the time it's ready, you can tell from the smell that is so inviting. You do not need to open the cover of your sufuria until the cake is done. To use a cloth to hold, you can use a skewer. Once it comes out clean, the cake is ready. Do not forget to hit the notification bell and to subscribe for this and more. Asante sana and karibu!